Hi, my name is ID Uyo, and welcome to this edition of the Olympic Moment. Today we take a look at the history of women in the Olympic Games. For the first time in modern Olympic history, the Games of London in 2012 saw more women participants than their male counterparts. But the rights of women to participate in the Olympic Games has not always been a given. And in fact, it's been very much a struggle for most of the 20th century. The founder of the modern Olympic Games, Baron Pierre de Coubertin of France, excluded women from the very first modern Olympics in 1896 in Athens, saying their inclusion would be impractical, uninteresting, unesthetic and incorrect. Ouch! Women were, however, allowed to take part in the next Olympic Games in 1900, but only because those Olympics were organized as a part of the World's Fair and they were also organized by the French government. But even then, there were only 22 women out of a total of a thousand athletes, and the women took part in only two events, tennis and golf, the so-called non-distress sports. By the Olympics of 1912, Archery, swimming, and skating had been added to the Olympics program. Ironically, the United States had no female entries in the recently added swimming event because U.S. officials required that female athletes on its teams wear long skirts regardless of the sporting discipline. And obviously, swimming and long skirts are impractical, definitely not a match. And as a result, there were no U.S. swimmers on the female side in 1912. By 1928, track and field had been added to the Olympic program for women, but here again, there were restrictions. From 1936 to 1960, women were not allowed to compete in races longer than 800 meters, and, and they were restricted to only four events. But over time, however, women have steadily, albeit slowly, been embraced by the Olympic movement. At the London Olympics in 2012, every Olympic delegation included at least one woman, and for the first time, all the sporting disciplines available to men were also available to women. Now, ironically, there are two sports designated solely for women in the Olympic Games, synchronized swimming and rhythmic gymnastics. Women have given us some of the finest moments in Olympic history, and the games are so much better for them. My name is I.D. Uyel. Thank you so much for watching this edition of the Olympic Moment.